How big a blow is it to lose Josh? Brings yeah. So much to you. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's earned his way into playing in all situations on this hockey club. Uh, um, his speed, his size, his willingness. He's had a really good year. Um, we're hoping to get him back as quickly as possible. Uh, but yeah, we'll miss him. But we, we have people that need to fill in, and uh, uh, and we just we need to move by it. But, and, and hopefully he'll get healthy, and then we'll go from there. Do you need any of your guys in, in the lineup to sort of take on a a different look that maybe he filled, or do you just become kind of a little different team until he's back? No, no, I I think we're. Uh, um, we're not going to overthink it. We, our, our, our lineup has kind of changed a little bit yeah. since the deadline. Uh, I think we've added some good pieces to it. Uh, quite honestly, if, if he was healthy, uh, I, I, there's going to be some tough decisions to be made as far as lineups. And uh, as we go forward here, when he gets healthy on our back end and forwards, there's going to be some tough decisions. I'm, I'm really excited about the push in the lineup as far as competition for jobs yeah. at this time of year. Uh, so, yeah, we'll miss Andy. There's no question. He's a really good player. Uh, but he's hurt, so we yeah. just move on. It's a good problem to have, to have all that, those options. Yeah, well, they, when they're healthy. We, yeah, when, yeah, it, it, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I, I had to make a tough decision. I'm not going to tell you now, but I had to make a tough decision already as far as the forward line. When you bring another guy in into the mix, and now uh, it looks like Nick's going to be able to play, there's going to be some tough decisions, and it's not always going to be. That that typical typical guy that's out because we're, we're going to go on on total merit as far as what's going on in each and every game as we uh, go down this last 19 games. It's pretty wild because I, I don't think you ever articulated it, but there were times the season where you got the sense where you were like, well, what, what choices do I have? Well, we're we're dealing, yeah, and and I'm certainly not running down the players, but we had guys that are trying to find their way into the yeah. league, the, the, uh, developing Modder, Dolps, Shreds. Uh, uh, Hanny and all those guys and that that's where I have have fluctuated with my fourth line is how much time I've played them. It's just the position of the game that they're at right now in their career. Uh, I and so but when you 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 bring Nick back and it's healthy you have Havana come in you have uh, Testy come in here that are that have been in the league and and you have a kind of a role for them sure it changes the competition from within the positions. Did it feel like a, a flip switched a little bit for you the other night? On the bench, it was a different bench. Uh, it, it was a different bench. Uh, I, I think it. Uh, this is our team yeah. right now. They, they're. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how guys felt. Maybe some guys wanted to be moved. Maybe some guys didn't want to be moved. I don't know. I don't poll them before the deadline as far as how they feel. But right now, our concentration and my concentration is putting the best guys out on that ice to win each and every game. And uh, uh, no feelings, no worrying about feelings. We're going to play as hard and try, try to play the right way to try to get some wins. And, and you see places around the league, though, where teams come out of that deadline uh, thinking, oh, my God, well, we just took this guy out. Yeah. Like, we're a lesser team now. You. See, Your see, GM did you the oh other yeah, direction. Yeah, I, 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 I think. And listen, Yarmo did a hell of a job in where I think he added some really good pieces. Yeah. And we give up a fourth-round draft pick. Right. Okay. We like Mata. We weren't sure where he stood at a point in time, but he gets a chance now in another organization. I'm happy for him. Juice was a guy that I was trying to give an opportunity. We already had talked. It wasn't working. It gives him another opportunity with another team. So we really don't lose our assets, and we've added people to some situations, our penalty killing, our power play, a little bit of leadership in the room that, that, that's going to help us. I'm not sure we, where we sit in the first week of April, at the end of the first week of April, but Yarmo certainly gave us a better opportunity. How much do you like that as the coach, too? Because it's, it's, that's about the future as well for this team. Yeah, you know? and, and that's where I think he was so sharp is that, um, you know, obviously there was talk of Jack and a number of players, but he was not going to uh, uh, do anything to where it's going to hurt uh, our team. For He has a tough job because it's now. And also the future. It's a, it's a tough. It's not. It's, it's a tweener. Some teams can be sellers. You know, they know the Rangers. They're sellers, uh, and some teams know they're going to go far. And they add the bigger pieces to the puzzle. Uh, we're we're kind of complimenting, and, and I'm really happy as far as how it's turned out uh, for the psyche of our locker room, and also for the future of our organization. Thomas Vanek in there looks like he's 
got a couple different roles. Uh, nice to have him out there to, to yeah. fill some spots. Yeah, yeah. I, I talked to Greeny out in Vancouver, his coach. Uh, talked to a number of people uh, about Thomas, and uh, I think you guys expect him and I to be fighting the first day. We're going to stage a fight out there just so it would make everybody happy. Uh, but uh, he is a he is a really good pro, uh, and I have gotten nothing but great reports on him. Uh, uh, as far as how he's handled himself, so yeah, we're we're really looking forward to it. And he seems to want to be here and be part yeah, of this, and yeah. moving, you know, first thing he, for the next couple. Of weeks. Yeah, first thing he told me, he says, "We're in the playoff race. I'm excited, and and that's certainly not running down Van. They're in a little bit different situation right now uh, as far as the youth of their team, but uh, he he's happy. He has a chance to help a team to get in the playoffs. And Nick looking looks sharp. About Nick that. is he wasn't healthy. Long, yeah, but. Nick Foligno. Yeah, yeah, he's ready to go. How many times in your career have you uh, begun coaching a player that everybody said, oh, God. Oh, Tom happened. mentioned Broussard the other night for sure. Yeah, it happens every day with you guys with me. Well, that's, you? That, that's ridiculous. Did you bring that up? I did not. No. <laughs> I'd be in front of it, other players. It's happened a number of times. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember yeah. any great examples of that? Where no, I'm not giving you any information on that. No. No.